Hello everyone and welcome to the first Christmas video of this holiday season. Today I have this Mondo Llama craft cookies kit that I'm going to make some little craft cookies for Santa. We've got some glitter glue and I can't wait to see what we do with this kit. I am so excited so let's just get into it. The first step is to actually open up the craft kit, of course, so we can get an idea of what's all inside. So the first thing, of course, is there are eight Christmas cookies to choose from and decorate. Here is some glitter glue, which I actually haven't used in a very, very long time, probably since like elementary school. So super excited about that. There are also six little paints to choose from and some paintbrushes included as well. And there's also this like little kind of cloth thing, I assume to go underneath the cookies to make them look a little more festive for the holidays. So for now, let's get all of these cookies out. I love this tray and I love that it gives it a display automatically, but let's set out all of the cookies so we can see what we're working with and we can choose which one to start with. So the tree caught my attention. I got out my green paints and at first I thought, you know, I should add in a little bit of color to the wood itself. That way it could look like there was some like crispy cookie parts and then I went ahead and with some green paint but it really didn't give the look or the effect that I was going for it was just super 2d and it did not read cookie to me at all so I brought in this special light and fluffy modeling paste and I decided to add in some green paint to it and just look at this it made the perfect frosting texture and consistency so then I put that on top of the cookies instead and just look at that like tell me that doesn't look exactly like Christmas cookie frosting I was super excited about this and I was super glad that it worked out then it was time to bring in this next little cookie which was a Christmas tree ornament so I decided to work with the green frosting first just because I had no idea how quickly the paste would dry so then I moved on to doing the white frosting per se and I put the white on the candy cane stripes and alternated it that way I could put a different color in later to make it look super fun. And now it's time to put on the white little fluffing that would be on this little Christmas stocking one. And this was just so fun. I was having the time of my life like putting this frosting stuff on and it was really fun to just kind of like mix around and decorate. And it got me thinking like, should I be decorating my Christmas cookies with paintbrushes? Like I, I wouldn't do that, but you know, kind of a fun idea. And then I moved on to this super cute one, which is this little milk bottle and I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like one of the cookies or an actual you know little milk accessory but I decided to treat it like a cookie so I went ahead and tried to go around the lettering as best as I could for now and then I decided I would touch it all up later but this was just so fun and I was loving how all of these were turning out and I thought they looked super super realistic which was just such a cool effect and I'm so glad that I came up with the idea to use the modeling paste but but then I decided to go ahead and just keep working with the white just to fill everything in and not waste it. And then I used the remaining white to make blue and I thought this mitten would just look adorable in a light blue pastel color. That was kind of my color scheme palette and theme for this was like a pastel Christmas. And like I said, I'm so glad I used this paste. It's kind of like one of my forbidden art supplies because it's like such a nice art supplies that I only want to use it for special occasions. Let me know if you have art supplies like that. Maybe it's just me. But then I went ahead with that light blue and also went in on the milk and did it as well. It was kind of messy, but I had a plan for it to make it blend in better later. Now it was time to make some yellow paste for this star cookie. And so I just added some paint to some modeling paste as well to make this yellow one. And then I just covered up all of the designs on top of the cookie for now. I assume they're supposed to be sprinkles, but I'll just use that as some inspiration later but for now I'm just going to cover the whole thing and make sure I get a smooth base layer of yellow frosting and once that's done now I can start adding in other colors to the rest of the ornaments that need it so this one still needed some different colors 
as you can see. So I decided to use the yellow on this one as well, just to add in an extra layer. And then it was time to move on to this gingerbread who was still completely naked and had no frosting. So I decided to use a little bit of my own paints for this one and I mixed in some brown. It still wasn't dark enough. I tried in some yellow, some red to try and get it a little bit warmer to read gingerbread, but it just wasn't dark enough. So I just added in a lot more brown to get it to the right color that I needed it to be and then I could finally go in and just fill the entire little gingerbread man. I tried to make this one very very smooth on top because I knew I was going to be going in with some finer details later you know those little face little buttons all of that so I tried to make sure I had a great base to work with and nothing was too rough and I tried my best to smooth it all out but it still has that you know frosting texture and then I decided to use some of that leftover brown on the trunk of the tree and now it's time to make pink frosting which I was very very excited about this one so after I whipped up my pink frosting then it was time to put it on the cookies so I used the pink on this little candy cane one and then I also used the pink frosting on the stocking as well I just felt like that would be a really cute color instead of red I felt like red would just be a little too harsh for my pastel Christmas theme I was trying to achieve so I just went with pink instead and I'm really glad that I did. I think like a pink Christmas theme is like so cute so I really liked those vibes and I also thought for the last color on this one that pink would be a great option so I added pink all around this and it was very hard because I'd already had all of the other colors on there and it probably would have been smarter to add the green as like an afterthought like on top of the rest but um I did not do that so this worked just as well too and it looks super cute and just like frosting so here are all the cookies pre-frosted but now it's time for some final details I knew from the very beginning that I would have to find a way to incorporate this glitter glue, so let's get started on that. At first, things were going so smoothly, I took this gold and outlined the star, and then this happened, and um, from there, it kind of all just went downhill a little bit. I kept working with it, though, and fixing it. I kind of forgot how hard glitter glue was actually to use it was like really tricky like to get the right amount of pressure right and then it would clog and you'd like get these blobs on your stuff and so I was doing pretty well with it I feel like I got into the groove I made little ornaments for this Christmas tree cookie and I was feeling pretty proud of myself I was like wow I've got the hang of this glitter glue and then it was time to do this snowflake which also went very well I switched over to the silver glitter glue and I was very impressed with the lines I was making I kind of avoided the middle a little bit because it was blobbing up in the middle because I kept going over the same area and then I even added this little pattern and I was like wow look at this like I'm a glitter glue expert like I was feeling really confident about the sparkle abilities I had with this and then it was time to move on to the gingerbread man and at first everything was going super super smoothly like I added his little icing lines super cute super charming looking right and then I moved on to his buttons so I decided to make the buttons gold and then for this button um things just did not go well so I had to fix it thankfully I'm very impatient so the modeling paste was still wet underneath and I was able to use that to my favor and kind of blend everything back in and fix everything but yeah let's just say uh the glitter glue was a little bit more challenging than I expected and I should have remembered that because the memories flooded back after I used it and things went like that but to fix the milk's messiness that I talked about before I decided to add in a dark blue because you know when sometimes you have like cookies that have been like left over and the icing kind of seeps like the color does I felt like it'd be cool to make it look that way then I added a cute little face and cute little blush to the gingerbread man to finish him up and he's just so cute and now it's time to actually set up and arrange our Christmas cookies on a display so I put down the little sheet and here is the first cookie which is this milk cookie that we made of course we have the stocking and then we have this star which you know gave me the first flashbacks of the glitter glue then we have this cute little candy cane which matches the stocking and gives me 
pink Christmas vibes. Next up, we have this adorable mitten, and I'm so proud of that snowflake on there, so let's admire that for just a second. We have this Christmas tree one, which is the first one that I did with the icing, and then we have this cute little ornament, which has three different colors on it, which is just kind of crazy, and then we have this final one, which might be my favorite because it is just so cute the little gingerbread man let me know which one is your favorite because i love all of them so much it's hard to choose but yeah like i said if i had to i'd probably choose a gingerbread he's just so cute but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe and let me know which cookie was your favorite thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye